today we have a very strange looking unboxing. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is literally how it turned up. This very odd shaped box. Um, <laughs> okay, sure, someone went a bit crazy with this packaging, but, but as long as the actual items inside are safe, who cares, right? Now, how the heck do I open this up? I have never seen such a strange looking box in all my life. Why? Okay, I'm back and I got this box open, but not without some difficulty. As you can see, for some reason now I have some black tape on my thumb. Uh, the reason why, because when I was opening this box, Apparently, I decided to cut my finger instead of opening the box, so... But let that be a lesson to everyone. Be careful when you're opening your boxes. Random pizza box inside of here for some reason. <laughs> it's better than no packaging at all, right? Okay, so... Very quick unboxing today. We're gonna fly through this unboxing today. Condor style. <laughs> so, yeah. We have the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Green Rangers Zord. This is the Condor. If you guys have watched my videos, you'll know that Power Rangers Lost Galaxy is one of my all-time favorite seasons. Um, so yeah, can't complain about getting more of these Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Zords. I do actually have a complete Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Megazord already, but this is pretty cool. We've got some extra parts. I don't think the entire Megazord's inside of here, but we do have quite a lot of the pieces, so. We've got the Wildcat. This is the Pink Ranger Zord. Strange that it's more white than pink, but yeah. That transforms kind of, if I can remember anyway, like so. And then we have the feet that fold down like this. And then we also have the tail. And there we go. <laughs> very basic. These are very old Zords, so you can't really expect too much. But, yeah. But anyway, gotta love Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Wow. Okay, next up. We've got something that I do not have. This is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure the name of this, but I do know that this is from Power Rangers Samurai, I believe. Um, if I can open this up... It is supposed to open up somehow. Okay, there we go. It's just really stiff. So yeah, there we go. And the blade extends even further like that. Pretty cool actually. I like the design of this. I think it actually looks quite cool. Like it was before. It clips into itself like this and then they kind of slot it into their zords to kind of have a joystick or control for the zords, which is pretty awesome. I haven't really watched any Power Rangers Samurai. Well, I've seen clips here and there, but yeah, definitely one that I do need to watch some of because there's definitely some interesting things about Power Rangers Samurai that I want to check out. So it's definitely on my list of Power Rangers seasons to watch that I haven't actually got around to seeing yet. So yeah, we're gonna set that to the side. We have another Shadow Ranger. I actually got one of these in a box recently. I do love the Shadow Ranger, this is pretty cool, but I'm getting quite a few of these now actually, so maybe I'll be giving this away with some other stuff in the future, we'll see. But yeah, here we have a Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Magna Defender. One of my favorite characters from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, for sure. A little bit of trivia for you guys. The same person who voiced the Magna Defender is also the voice of the iconic Goldar. So pretty awesome and yeah definitely an awesome voice and you know an iconic role. You will be the Magnet of Vendor. This is your destiny. Yeah only thing about this figure is it didn't actually come with a cape back in the day when these figures were released. It did have some sort of special weapon that attached onto the chest, but sadly it did not have the cape. Don't know why they didn't put the cape on the figure, because it was kind of one of the iconic parts about the Magna Defender. Up until then, we didn't really have any Power Rangers that had capes. 
Um, obviously, later on, we have Mystic Force, which is very well known for having capes. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. The Magna Defender. And next up, let's move on. As you can see, poking out right here, we have an awesome Morpher. Definitely one of my favourite Morpher designs. Um, and as you can tell by this box, we have a lot of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy stuff inside of this box. So, the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Transmorpher. Pretty awesome. I do not know if this works. Probably not. But yeah, it's definitely seen better days. From this angle, it looks pretty good. But if you turn it around, as you can see, it's got a lot of discoloration. But that's okay. It just, <laughs> it's seen a lot of battle damage. And yeah, pretty cool. You can, it, with these morphers, you can kind of twist this dial and then select the different ranges. So you have the colours red, blue, green, yellow, and pink. But strangely enough, the red rangers looks kind of more orange. Don't you agree? But that's literally just because this label has worn away through the years, so the colours have kind of faded. But still a pretty cool item to have, and it's complete with a strap. Okay, so next up, we have yet another Zord from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. We have the Wolf Zord, which I'm currently attempting to transform. Okay, cool. There we have the Wolf Zord from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Couple of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Zords so far. Really cool. The yellow and the pink Rangers Zords. Okay, next up, we have the Blue Ranger Zord from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Already transformed into the legs, as you can see. Pretty cool. This is the Gorilla Zord, or Galactabeast, as they're called in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. There we go, there's the, there's the arms coming out of the side. Pretty simple, easy transformation. Another Power Rangers Zord from Lost Galaxy for the Blue Ranger. Only thing is, we have all of the Zords apart from one, and that sadly is the Red Ranger Zord, so we are missing the Red Ranger Zord. So we cannot, unfortunately, combine them to make the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Mega Zord. We have a strange variation here of the Omega Ranger, this is from Power Rangers SPD, in some pretty cool armour actually. I don't have this figure, so this is pretty interesting to see, because I definitely do not have this version of the Omega Ranger. It's got SPD on the side there, a little bit faded and worn away. This armour was never used in the show obviously, um, from my recollection anyway, but this is pretty cool. Omega Ranger. Okay, so finally in here we do have the Omega Rangers Morpher, and this is pretty cool. I do have a couple of these. I'm going to be taking a bunch of stuff just to give out to random people and, you know, surprise them. It's nothing much, but yeah. Some of the stuff, like I said, probably this Morpher as well, um, I might be taking with me, so yeah. It does have lights and sounds working, apparently. Someone left the batteries in here, so... Yeah, at least I can test it. But for long-term storage, you don't want to be leaving batteries inside, so... I will make sure to remove the batteries after this video, but... I love the function where you can rev this morpher up, um, which is pretty awesome. And obviously you have this button here, which I guess is the morph button. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, we have some awesome stuff right here, as you can see. A bunch of cool Power Ranger items to add to the collection. I hope you enjoyed this very quick Power Rangers unboxing. If you did, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for plenty more unboxings, reviews, and so much more is still to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Go Galactic! And remember, I now have a Patreon page, so you can help support the channel in a more direct way, allowing me to continue to create even more content. I also have both Instagram and Facebook groups. All the links will be in the description below. May the power protect you.